If we're already upon our healing journey or considering stepping upon our healing journey, there can be a resistance to moving forward and this moving forward can impede our growth. And let's do an EFT tapping to clear this resistance so we can continue to heal and grow. So taking full responsibility for your own well-being and repeating after me, let's go with that flow. Let's begin to tap. Even though I'm encountering resistance. There is something within me that's stopping me from taking action or there's some reaction that I'm afraid of that's stopping me from moving forward. And I'm open to loving and accepting myself even though I want to clear this resistance but I might not know what consciously this resistance is. And I'm doing many actions that seem to be avoiding this growth and this healing action to take action. And I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Even though I have many thoughts and I have many feelings and I have many emotions, and they're all at the Grand Council, debating with each other, whilst I sit in non-action, wondering what this resistance is, preventing me from taking action. And I'm open to loving and accepting myself. All this emotional resistance, all this resistance within myself, all this resistance to moving forward. It's really annoying at times. Because I just don't know what it is. Or I just don't know, don't want to know what it is. There is something within myself that just doesn't feel good. And I want to heal this good. But something is getting in my way. And it's really annoying. And when I look at this journey that I want to step upon, I might ask myself, what's either taking so long? Why am I making progress? And why can't I step upon that journey to actually heal and empower myself? And I might come up with many reasons, many reasonable reasons. And I might reason with these reasons as I think about thinking in this effort of overthinking. And then the more that I overthink something, the more that action doesn't take action. I might think about that. So I don't have to take action. Or at least look at this action and question its actions as I think about thinking and go round and round. And if I go round and round, it prevents me from going forward. And I wonder what's stopping me from moving forward. And I have many feelings. And I have many emotions. And these two can conflict about how I want to feel. And these good emotions that elicit that feeling. But getting in the way of that is some things that don't feel too good. And some emotions are being told it's bad to feel. Which prevents me from feeling these feelings and getting to those good emotions. And I go round and round wondering what's the good and bad of things as I think about thinking about thinking. And I have many circles within this triangle, a triangle of circles, all three points going round and round and round. And there is me within the middle of this triangle, trying to sort out the mess, trying to get the reasons from it and make sense from these feelings, even though it might feel senseless. And I might have to ask myself the question, where is this getting me? 
And do I feel good about this? And there might be a spark of recognition within that statement. Do I feel good about this? And when I look to other things in my life, and especially things that I'm healing from, I might do things that feel good, or at least a good feeling. There are certain foods I like to eat that make me feel good. There are certain things I don't like to eat that don't make me feel too good. And I might be motivated by my feelings to get this good feeling. And when I get this good feeling, I think to myself, I would like some more of that. So it's rational. Why would I not want something that's not good for me? But upon a healing journey, there have been some actions that either other people have done to me, or that I've had to carry out, that didn't make me feel too good. And these bad feelings are something that I'm told are bad, that are bad to feel that are bad to experience. And the more that I don't experience these bad feelings, the more that I don't feel too good. And I might not think too good thoughts about myself. And definitely how other people perceive me, or even societal perceptions, may look down upon me if I have reasonable reactions to unreasonable actions done upon me that don't make me feel too good. And if I can't express these feelings, I might start to suppress these feelings to where I start to deny these feelings and avoid them altogether. And I might think of many different ways to avoid feeling these bad emotions. I might come up with many different reasons. Reasons to reasons about reasons about why it's unreasonable to feel these bad emotions. By bad things that have happened to me, that may be an inconvenience to either my external environment or how society has perceived these emotions. And it's quite an inconvenience that I'm feeling these inconveniences within myself. Some uncon some inconceivable truths that have been done to me that no one could conceive that have created some terror within myself that somehow I'm not allowed to feel. And that doesn't seem rational to me. All of these thoughts and these feelings are my experiences through life. And some of these experiences didn't feel too good. And by sweeping it on the carpet, they just build and build. Until I have to address the unaddressable. That thing that is growing within myself, that may be starting to affect my body, and affecting my mind. And feeling into my body, and knowing that my mind and my body is safe is kind of a hard journey to go upon because it means feeling into those feelings that don't feel too good and why would I do anything that doesn't make me feel too good but the more that I hold on to something that doesn't feel good Kind of like trying to hold on to a nauseous stomach. The more that it doesn't feel good. And there are some emotions that are building and building. That if I bring awareness to. I can start to reduce the intensity of. And let go of some thoughts and opinions. That I have about myself. And allow them to go. Allow them to reduce. Allow new thoughts and feelings to go in their place. 
so that I can grow upon myself. Rather than holding on to a weight and being expected to swim freely. So it's going to weigh me down eventually. All these thoughts and feelings that are trying to protect myself do take a lot of energy to think of many different reasons why it's not logical to heal. It's okay to heal. And it's okay to slowly feel into those feelings that don't feel too good. And if I hurt my arm, I'd want to attend to that hurt. And I might have some emotional hurts from people that have hurt my feelings and told me that my thinking is wrong. And I might want to attend to that so I can start to feel better within myself and think better thoughts about myself and feel good about myself. I'm allowing this fear to flow. Allow myself to recognize that it's okay to have fear and I don't have to protect myself from acknowledging this feeling. This feeling has shut me down so many times. I'd like to get freedom from that so I can burst from that shell and grow a little bit more. I like to feel into this anger, this reasonable anger that was my defense mechanism that I was told I was not allowed to have. Quite convenient for someone that's abusing me. I'm allowed to have this anger. I'm allowed to, allow, I'm allowed to know that bad things were done to me. And my body is screaming out no. And I'm allowed to listen to my body. I'm allowed to express my feelings in a safe way. In an appropriate way with appropriate people and in an appropriate space so others don't get hurt and I don't get hurt in that process so I can clear this resistance in a safe and healthy way all this resistance to feeling all this resistance to emotions all this resistance to thinking I'm clearing this resistance all of these protective mechanisms that were trying to keep me safe. Keeping me safe from this vulnerability from when I was hurt. And I'm attending to this hurt by allowing my shields to lower with the appropriate people and with the appropriate intention so that I can heal myself in an appropriate manner. I'm taking appropriate action from all the insensitive reactions that I've had to carry within myself. From all these people that told me that I was wrong. I'm clearing this hurt. I'm attending to this hurt. I'm lowering these shields. And I'm getting more freedom within myself to express myself in thoughts, feelings and emotions in mind, body, and spirit. And taking a full breath in. And out. So yes, we can look at things separately. And typically within a medical field, they'll tend to look at things separately. If you look at a hospital, it's all different sections to a hospital that attend to different parts of our body that all of our thoughts and emotions are all connected within one body and they all flow together. So one will affect the other and the other will affect the other and the other and so on and so off. And it's kind of like that song, the knee bone is connected to the, the shin bone sort of thing. They're all connected. So one emotion would elicit a feeling and a feeling would elicit a thought. So attending to the whole part of ourselves, helping to clear those subconscious uh, things that are venting us, from taking action actually helps to start clear that resistance to healing because why would we not want to heal something that has affected us? So I'm Dion from Evolution Support Services. I offer EFT tapping one on one online for a deeper healing experience. So check out evolutionsupportservices.com.
and I'll catch you in the next one. Check out the other videos to help you go over the flow a little bit more. Bye for now.